another one. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. He half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. Good man, you already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and down right from the battle. Beep. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe that right. Let's get straight to this, man. RBE max out Cassidy versus Hitman Holla. I didn't make it to the event. I let a couple of people know. My flight was canceled by United about a week and a half before the event. And to rebook a flight was gonna be way more expensive. And they couldn't even accommodate the tight schedule that I had to keep because I have to work, you know what I mean? So I couldn't even make it to the event. I was very upset. But I did catch it by the pay-per-view. I bought a ticket and a pay-per-view, you know what I'm saying? So I bought both. I spent $100, you know what I'm saying, on this joint. And the Hitman versus Cassidy battle, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm not going to front. I didn't have high expectations of this battle to begin with. I didn't have a very high expectation of either or battle rapper to wow us, you know what I mean, when it came to the material that they was about to give us, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Atlanta crowd was kind of crazy, man, to be honest with y'all. They just kept talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, throughout every battle, you know what I'm saying? They had to tell the crowd, to, you know what I'm saying, to, to be quiet. I don't know if the crowd was very excited to be back in the building, you know what I'm saying, and be watching battles, but the crowd made it very hard to watch, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully they're able to edit it down, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the camera. For the actual uh, VOD, you know what I mean? But anyways, this battle for me is very hard to call. On first watch, it's very hard to call. I feel like the only clearer rounds in this battle was Cassidy, round one, and Hitman Holla, round three. To be honest, those are those are the clearer, some of the clearer, just a couple of the clearer rounds for me. I'm having a harder time calling round two. I got to watch it back. But I believe that that's a round where they might have both gotten actually booed a little bit. You know what I mean? The Atlanta crowd wasn't playing, bro. They had signs, you know what I'm saying? One side had a trash can, the other side had fire. So they had the option of using these signs, but... Some people still wanted to be very vocal about it, you know what I'm saying? So there was there was there was some booing going on. But I thought that Cassidy's performance, I thought that Cassidy's material did actually improve. I thought that Cassidy actually did improve. Like I think he did get better than his previous battle with like Arsenal and or goods. The reason I think his material improved was because when Cassidy started his first round, it started to sound very generic. It started to sound like the old Cassidy, like 2000s, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, here we go, here we go, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy's just going to be, you know what I'm saying? He just went into his rhyme book, you know what I'm saying? He's about to give us some outdated material. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what I spent $50 for. But then as it started to go into the round more, you know what I'm saying, the first round, Cassidy actually started talking about actual stuff. He actually started talking about, like, the face-off. He actually started talking about the face-off, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that Hitman, you know what I'm saying, wasn't, wasn't for real. He didn't have nothing in his bag. And Hitman, I mean, Cassidy actually started to go into, which I didn't think Cassidy was going to do. This is what I didn't think Cassidy, this is what I wanted Cassidy to do and was hoping that he would do. Just more, you know what I'm saying? And just more. That's why I feel like he did get better and did improve because he started to include almost like an angle. It was almost like angles throughout this battle, bro. Like like Cassidy was actually trying to utilize angles in this battle. The face and it was and it what was crazy was that the fact that Cassidy, in fact, did add material after the face-off. Just like Hitman did, Cassidy actually did the same thing too. He went back and he added material 
because that first round he started addressing the face off. He started addressing the whole, you know what I mean? Like it was crazy. I was like, yo, oh, and it was actually good. Like it was actually pretty good, bro. I'm like, yo. I couldn't believe that it was happening. I couldn't believe that it was happening, bro. Cassidy was angling. So was Hitman, though. You know what I'm saying? Hitman was going crazy, bro. Hitman had performance. You know what I'm saying? He had he was doing a good job. You know what I mean? Cassidy also had an angle about the angle about, you know what I'm saying, Hitman not having done nothing, you know what I'm saying, about getting his chain, you know what I'm saying, and, and is took him, you know what I mean? But he's like a tough guy and all this, this and that. And Cassidy was actually he was rapping. But the thing was, I think that Cassidy could have rapped more. I feel like Cassidy could have went more into those angles that he was exploiting. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I feel like Cassidy did a great job, bro. I feel like Cassidy did a great job, bro. Like, I couldn't believe that we were getting this, like, a, like a... Because, again, my expectations were not very high, bro. They were not high of Cassidy or Hitman. It really wasn't high. So, for me, the fact that Cassidy was exploiting these angles and was doing what he was doing was fire to me. I was like, all right, that's cool. I'm satisfied and I'm happy with that. Hitman Holla. Hitman Holla had some fire material as well, bro. And he had performance. What do he say? He said something like, I made 150000 in Justice League. He had a Justice League, you know what I'm saying, flip. like. I feel like Hitman Holla had some spots where he was actually scheming. Like, he actually had some schemes. You know what I mean? Like, he actually had some, a little bit more, some parts where he was spitting some, some things that were more complex than he usually spits. Like, as far as, like, schemes. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot, not a lot, but he had some. So I appreciated that when he, whenever he had something that was like, oh, sh this just came from Hitman. Oh, snap, that's fire. Hitman, Hitman, Hitman. I don't know what it is, bro, with Hitman and bringing out his brother show out to the battles, bro, and including him into his, his rounds. But in the third round, Hitman had this this little, you know, performance thing where he was going in and out rapping with his brother, you know what I'm saying? And there was this little part where his brother got very aggressive and actually like kind of like bumped Cassidy, like went past Hitman. He was like over here, he went past Hitman and like bumped Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? And some and and that caused a whole commotion. It caused a whole scene. You know what I'm saying? Where it looked like there was about to be some big brawl about to happen. Everybody was pushing up. Everybody was, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to push forward to like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if it was to like grab, but she was, but there was all big entourages just like after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it, it was a little much. I feel like it was a little too much. Like what, whatever show I was trying to do, I don't know. I feel like he it was a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Like. They was mad cool, you know what I'm saying? No contact for the whole battle, but it was mad cool. And then this, this, he comes out of nowhere and tries to bump Cassidy. I think that's a little much, you know what I'm saying? So the response is warranted, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy's people are gonna step, they're gonna step up, like you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get close to my guy, you know what I'm saying? Like what are you talking about? What are you doing? You know what I mean? Just like you're somebody who's with Hitman. Well, I'm somebody who's with Cassidy, so it was good, you know what I mean? Like pretty much. So. That whole thing broke out, man. I honestly, I was kind of surprised that they didn't stop the VOD. I was kind of surprised that they didn't stop the live stream. I was hoping that they didn't stop it because I wanted to see it finish. I wanted to see what Cassidy was going to do, you know what I mean, in the third round. Uh, but that happened in Hitman's third round, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if that surprises anybody. Um, and then the craziest thing happened, I feel like. One of the funniest things happened. One of the craziest things happened, right? Right after that scene that broke out hitman had like one more like bar or one more you know what i'm saying and it was him telling cassidy that because cassidy usually asks him how come you know what i'm saying how come or people usually ask hitman including cassidy i guess 
how come Cat, how come Nick Cannon doesn't show up to your battles? How come Nick Cannon don't support you? You know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. blah, blah. And um, Hitman had this had this part right after that whole commotion happened where he asked Cassidy, he's like, "Why don't Nick Cannon um, come to um, come to my battles? Ask him yourself." He said that to Cassidy, and then Nick Cannon pops up out of the blue from the background, bro. He's like, he got like a like a mask on covering his face, and he had like a hoodie on, like scrunched clothes. And Nick Cannon pops out of nowhere, bro, and takes off the mask. And just, yo, yo, oh my god, bro. Nick Cannon. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I can't believe this shit. Nick Cannon pulls up, bro. He pretty much, uh, like, approaches, you know, Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? Like, smiling, obviously, like, laughing. Cassidy's, like, smiling, laughing and shit. He daps him up real quick, you know what I'm saying? It, it was just the funniest thing, bro. It was the funniest thing, bro. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, that was Hitman's third, pretty much. And then, and then Cassidy's third, it was crazy because it was funny. What was funny about Cassidy's third was that Cassidy's third, he was pretty much roasting, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hitman, the wild and out situation, and Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Nick Cannon had just come up in the third round for Hitman, so Cassidy followed that with that third that had to do with Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying, and Hitman and Wild. So I felt it transitioned pretty well into that round, but overall, again, as far as the battle goes and calling a winner, I, I don't really think I could call a winner right now. I think I'm going to have to rewatch it, you know what I mean? Like, Hitman obviously outperformed Cassidy, but... Cassidy had, you know what I'm saying, material that I felt like was, I felt like material that was, uh, that was, you know, that relates, or, you know, that related to, or went with their storyline, you know what I'm saying, too, and it, it, Cassidy's usually not the type to do that, he's usually just barring, you know what I'm saying, just random, you know, bars and just random barring, you know what I'm saying, like punchlines, I mean, just punchlines, um, but he actually incorporated some, you know what I'm saying, some actual angle material, you know what I'm saying? So because of that, I gave, I think it, as of right now, I think it going 2-1 either way, to be honest with y'all, man. But Hitman didn't complete his mission. I don't think he made it so that Cassidy never gets booked again. He said he was going to do that, and I don't think that that's the case at all. I don't think that's the case at all. But y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe.